works. When, when it comes to voting for Governor Kasich, even if his name is not placed in nomination, you just still vote for Kasich? Yep. How does that work? Okay, so, and then in so the look, look, in, in 2012, they passed Rule 40B so that um, Ron Paul's name could not be entered into nomination. Right. If you look at the official roll call, official uh, uh, notice of uh, how it worked in Tampa, Ron Paul still received a hundred and some odd votes from delegates, uh, even though 40B was passed and his name wasn't in nomination. Don't worry about all these other things that you're hearing. The key number is 1,237. Whoever has that is the nominee, period. That's how it works. Do you, uh, is part of the job for Joanne and Don Thiebaud to uh, to rewrite that rule to make it easier? Um, we'll see how things work out. Again, it's really not all that important necessarily to have it rewritten because 1,237 is the number. 40B, I think maybe it means you can't make a nomination, have someone make a nomination speech on your behalf. Um, but as you're Going through the various rounds of voting, there's opportunities to enter people's name into nomination. And so, at some point in time, the governor's name is going to get entered into nomination. And regardless of whether it is or isn't, if he has 1,237 delegates, he's the nominee. Yeah. Any other questions? So, what are you optimistic about it? I don't give Don Tebow and Joanne Davidson marching orders. Um, I'd invite you to try to do that sometime. Just kidding. No, their their orders are go out and look out for Ohio's best interests. Ohio casts its uh, its vote overwhelmingly in favor of John Kasich. So the things that are happening at the Rules Committee that are going to be uh, beneficial to us are the things that they're going to be looking at. And of course, we also want to look at the entire process and and have a fair, open, transparent um, process that will take place at the convention, and that's what uh, the folks who are appointed to all these committees are going to help us do. Thanks. Are you still optimistic about the Of course. Yeah. I wouldn't have any. Well, I mean, we've known for many weeks now that the plan is when no one gets to 1,237 delegates, which still appears that nobody will, we go to the convention, and through several rounds of voting, Donald Trump doesn't get it on the first ballot, he's never going to get it. And so we'll see then who emerges uh, in later rounds of voting. And no matter how many ballots it takes, um, we can stay there and cast our ballot for, cast our Ohio's votes for um, John Kasich and, and until he's the nominee. But all of Ohio's votes are going to Kasich each time, essentially. Is that the bottom line on this? That is the bottom line on this. That because of rules or just because everybody is on that only delegation? Bound, only bound to it. Uh, by rule for the first ballot, but you're bound to do so much. There's no one in this room that's going to vote for anybody else. Thanks, Matt.